In this video, I will tell you how to set up related items in Microsoft Dynamics NAV and show you how related items are presented in the Sana web shop. This is a Sana demo store. I am going to open the product details page of some product. Below the main product information, you can see related items. They are used by Sana to show similar or substitute items like accessories or spare parts and build relationships between the related items and the original item. These item relations are used for cross and up selling, or it can be also used to provide alternatives in case any of these items is out of stock. As you can see, four related products are shown. If you want to add more related products, they can be grouped using the relation type. In this case, customers will be able to switch between different groups of related products in the web shop. The title of the related product group is automatically generated based on the relation type in NAV, but it can be easily changed using the Insight Editor of SANA. Now let's open Microsoft Dynamics NAV and see how to set up related items. In Microsoft Dynamics NAV, you can use the SANA feature called Related Items and the standard NAV feature called Substitutions to add related items. Using the SANA feature Related Items, you can also add related items to the item categories. At first, let's have a look at the SANA feature Related Items. So, I will open some item. On the Navigate tab, you can see the Related Items button in the SANA Commerce group. I am going to add the items which I want to show in the SANA web shop as related to the item I have selected. Then, I need to specify the relation type. It identifies how products relate to each other. Using the relation type, you can create several groups of related items, up to four items in each group. For example, four related items can be included in the group with the relation type 1. Other four related items can be included in the group with the relation type 2, and so on. Sort number is used to set up the order of the related items. The related items are sorted on the product details page from left to right. You can also add related items to the item categories. I will click Financial Management, Inventory, Setup, Item Categories. So here you can see all existing item categories. You can select any item category of any level and then on the Actions tab click Related Items. You can add related items to the item categories just in the same way as to other items as I showed you earlier. When you add related items to the item categories, all items that are assigned to the item categories will automatically inherit related items from them. And now briefly about the standard NAV feature called Substitutions, which you can also use to add related items. You can equally use the SANA feature Related Items and the standard NAV feature Substitutions to add related items to the items. I will open some item and on the Navigate tab you can see the button Substitutions. Using item Substitutions, you can add related items to any item just in the same way as I showed you earlier with the SANA feature. You just need to add the necessary items as related. You can create several groups of related items by specifying relation type for each group of related items. The only difference between SANA's related items and item substitutions of NAV is that using the standard NAV item substitutions, you can't add related items to the item categories and inherit them unlike the SANA feature. In case you don't want to show item substitutions from NAV as related items in the SANA web shop, then you can simply disable substitutions. If you go to the web shop department, and open the settings of your web shop. On the Optimization Fast tab, you can disable substitutions as related items at all. In this case, if you have item substitutions in NAV, they will not be shown as related items in the SANA web shop.